Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Now we have here blessings and abundance. So there's blessings and abundance the universe is wanting to shower you with this. There's good things coming in. Spiritual growth. So you're learning, you're growing as a spiritual person here. You're learning the lessons that the universe wants to teach you. You're accepting them, you're doing it with grace and that's when blessings come forward here. Now, this is sensitive emotions, Larimar, sensitive emotions. Times of heightening emotions and sensitive, sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. Now, if you're feeling fragile here or anybody's causing you any anxiety here, it's time for you to look after yourself. Take a step back from that. Um, you know, be gentle with yourself. And if there's a situation where you're not feeling good about yourself or the choices you've made, Always remember, it's all part of your spiritual growth, the challenges that you're going through. So let's have a look and see what the guidance is. If this starts to resonate, please like, share and subscribe. Queen of Wands. The Fool card. The Three of Cups. The Three of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Sorry, the Knight of Wands. I beg your pardon, the Knight of Wands here. The Three of Wands. Eight of Cups. Judgment card. And the King of Cups. Now what we've got here is discontentment. There's something here that you've hit a glass ceiling with. You're not happy with something in your life. You know there's something missing. Uh, the Ninth Cup is missing. The wish fulfillment is missing in your life here and you're needing to look to the future now. Now, the difficult bit about this can be that it's difficult to accept. It's difficult to face up to. It, it could be a long term relationship. It could be a job you've been in somewhere where you're living that you've enjoyed. It maybe served your purpose at one point, but it's not serving its purpose anymore. You're not content with where you are at this moment in time. Now, there's a judgment call that needs to be made here. And the judgment call is based on past experiences and knowledge that you've gained. Don't be beating yourself up, like I said earlier here, about your choices that you've made. This really is all part of your spiritual growth. And if there's discontentment in your life in any area, it is encouraging you. That is your inspiration telling you and spirit connecting in with you that you really need to look to a more prosperous path for happiness. So this judgment call is a major judgment call. The universe is trying to help you here. The angels are trying to connect in with you to support you at this time. Um, and it, like I say, it could be deja vu type situations where things never seem to improve. It could be people that are coming in and out of your life that are unreliable. It could be a, an unreliable friend, partner, business partner, romantic partner or business partner. And this could be Leo Aries or Sagittarius energy. So there's a judgment call that needs to be made and it's, it is going to have a major impact on how you go forward. Now, this really is about you taking that leap of faith and trusting that you can start to get on a brand new path to bring blessings and abundance in. So in other words, you can make the judgment call to get yourself onto a path. You can start from ground zero that you're passionate about that you're prosperous, that's where your prosperity will lie. Something that you're excited about, something you're passionate about, something you can put your heart and soul into because that's where your blessings and your abundance in life come from. We're meant to be enjoying what we're creating. We're meant to be passionate about what we're investing our time and energies into. So whether it be people, situations or goals you're having here, your blessings will come from being passionate about taking that leap of faith forward towards things that are more that you're going to enjoy. They're going to make your heart sing, if you like. So, you know, when you do that, you're going to move forward very quickly onto that more passionate path. So this leap of faith, can, there can be fear attached to this. There can be. It's about trusting your intuition, trusting what's happening here. You're not happy. Trust you can get onto that path. Your inspiration, your intuition will guide you forward if you're prepared to look to the future and accept that there's no happiness there. And this really is about, like I say, looking to the future, making the choices to do something that you enjoy, invest your time into something or somebody that brings you a lot of pleasure here. It's about making that choice and going forward and getting on that boat towards growth and prosperity here. It's about making long term plans for your future that excite you, that uh, are going to bring a lot of good things into your life. 
Now, it can be here that there's a collaborative energy here. You might have to work with one person or more here. It can be a very sensitive subject that we're talking about here. If it's a relationship, uh, you might have to work with one person or more collaboratively because this is a team. Uh, you know, it's a collaborative card where you're working with a, a person or a team of people here to go forward to lay solid foundations for your future. So there's a lot of blessings here from investing in jobs that you enjoy. You might be going towards new jobs, joining new teams, uh, new partners in life, all that type of thing. Uh, if you're laying the solid foundations for the future, you've got the skills that are needed here to do that. And any efforts that you put in here will stand the test of time because it's solid foundations you're building in which to build a future on. So these two threes here are very important because this is about you making your choices for the future, being passionate about it and working with others, fitting in here and being respected and working together to lay the solid foundations on which to build your future on. Now, this here is going to be, it's going to be very happy with the outcome. Very happy. You're going to feel very happy and content. This can also be Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy who's supporting you, somebody who's genuine coming into your life. So there can be opportunities here, somebody that finds you as a very attractive prospect. And if you're on the right path and you're passionate about life, you can attract other people in. So in other words, people that are genuine coming into your life. Now with opportunities, it could be for love, it could be um, good bosses, it could be good tutors, whatever it may be, depending on what you're passionate about here. But there's lots of abundance and blessings coming in the future and you're going to want to celebrate them. If you're getting asked to go out, go and have some fun here. Go and start having fun. You know, spend time with people you enjoy their company. It's people you enjoy doing things with. OK, because there's lots of good things coming in. It's difficult time at the moment. Because there's discontentment around you, most definitely. But it's making choices now, making that judgment call to deal with that. Nature signs. Be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continually. We need only open our hearts and minds. And that's what I'm saying. You've got to be open and listen and connect in. Find that peaceful place. Go for that peaceful walk. And your intuition will guide you and so will the spirit. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.